finances and all our time at risk that uh, we had to sort of renew what we were doing, sort of sit back and um, you know, make sure what we were doing is in response to uh, a need. And uh, we just still felt we couldn't continue doing that um, in that format uh, just for the sake of uh, it had been done enough. And uh, we thought there was probably a better way to communicate the message uh, of the gospel uh, to the generation in which we live. Don't begin by traveling to some far off place to convert unbelievers. And don't try to be dramatic by tackling some public enemy. Go to the lost, the confused people right here in the neighborhood. Tell them that the kingdom is here. Bring health to the sick, raise the dead, and touch the untouchables. Kick out the demons. You've been treated generously, so live generously. And that is sort of the foundation sort of, of what we're about. Um, we're not heading to Africa. We're not recruiting you to, uh, to come and eat grubs with us in the Congo. We are recruiting you to evangelize right off your doorstep. The number of people in our age group that are going to church is next to nothing and it's getting smaller every year. And so we started asking ourselves the question, why, why aren't people going to church in our age group? And we actually uh, did a survey around Kingston and uh, surveyed a whole bunch of people in this generation. And one of the biggest answers we got back was that it was boring. And so we're thinking to ourselves, well, if it's just that it's boring, we can make it a little more exciting and still present the gospel, still present God's love, and um, maybe help to change some lives. The basic mission statement of the next church is to show our generation that Jesus Christ is real and relevant. And our dream or vision is to plant a church for our generation that will impact the community in which it exists. Our goals are to provide outreach through healthy relationships, seeker-targeted services, discussion groups, and events. And uh, to establish a community of dedicated believers through Bible study, prayer, worship, and fellowship. Well, this particular church is not going to be just a bunch of Christians sitting together and worshiping together. It's not what we want at all. This is going to be a place that every Christian who's here is committed to being here, but is also committed to, to mission work outside of this building. Actually, church is something I've uh, taken very much for granted. It's always been provided by other people. I've been involved from time to time, but in helping launch this has been incredible. Uh, it's opened my eyes how much it takes and uh, our appeal to you is it's still so fresh, it's exciting. Uh, potential is incredible. And that's what we want to encourage you to be part of this. Um, things that is appealing to um, our peers is that you know you, you, you are real, you're authentic. And, uh, and being authentic, well, a lot of things are, I mean, granted. So, so I mean, we're going to, we're gonna, like I said, we're going to, wind our way through this and